Good morning. Mark Fleming here at the IDS uh, show in Cologne, Germany. And I've been asked to give you a little bit of an overview and some of my favorite things of the new software coming on down the line. Uh, I've had a chance to use it for a, a period of time here, and I've got to tell you, it's, it's, it's going to be tremendous once it's released. And I've, there's just several features for me that I enjoy, and I hope to show you some of these here this morning. Uh, first thing, if you notice, just a, a total new outlook here. Uh, to me, it looks much cleaner. Uh, it's, it, it, it just looks good from now on. Uh, down here, as we did before, we could put in a database. We could start typing a patient's name, and our names would come up here. Or you can show all patients or add new patients. So this is all in administration. So I'm going to pick our IDS patient here this morning. Um, I'm going to add a new case here. You can see down here, once again, we're still in an administration. I could edit the patient, delete the case, open a case that's already with the patient, uh, but we're going to uh, add a case here this morning. Once again, totally new, totally clean interface here that we're looking at. Uh, we're set for a single restoration here this morning. We're going to do tooth number 19. Click on that. It gives us a tooth, and then right away, we're going to the restoration type, a crown or an inlay and onlay. And then design mode, so we're going to pick crown. We're going to use the biogeneric individual. And as you notice down here, whenever anything is in green, we can move on from here. Actually, one of the changes that we're going to like here, because it's going to allow us to uh, get to the milling quicker, we actually pick our material at the beginning rather than uh, at the end when we were in the mill preview in the previous softwares. So different types of blocks and the material in that block. So we already have our uh, material, we already have our milling chamber and we define our restoration so now we can hit OK and move on. Everything is good. This is if we wanted to pick another restoration but since we're set at um, uh, the single we'll just arrow ahead here. We could either arrow or go up top here and go into our acquisition. So now the camera's live. You can turn it on and off by going to the blue cam that's off. It was already on now. We can go to scan an arch. One of the big differences you'll notice now, it's, it's not prep and antagonist or whatever. It's strictly lower jaw, upper jaw, buckle. And as you can see, the window here is uh, highlight it for our uh, lower jaw. So we're going to start there by taking our uh, pictures. And you can see how the model comes up off to the side here. And just like before, when I get to my premolar area, I like to give a little bit of a roll for the information. Now, I have what I need here, my uh, lower jaw. I hit upper jaw. And once again, take my upper jaw. And the reason why this is uh, listed as such, because we'll be able to do multiple restorations. So it's no longer a prep catalog and an antagonist catalog. It's just what I said before, upper and lower jaws. We have our information there. And now we'll go to our uh, buckle bite. And we'll take our shot here and can even add on to there. So what I've done here is I've scrolled down. If I wanted to take a look at my catalog here, uh, the camera's off. Well, it's back on again. We'll turn it back off. But let's say I wanted to go back to my lower jaw where my prep is, and I wanted to see my images down there. I just scroll down, and here's all the images that I could check to make sure if I needed to. You can drag these into the uh, delete folder if need be, but everything's good here. I have all the images that I need. Now, once again, I can either arrow ahead or go to our model. And when we go to our model, this is where it'll start stitching together again, just like in uh, the previous softwares. I think you'll notice, too, with the model work here, it's, it's much cleaner. Um, it, just everything in the software 
is uh, gives you that feel of high tech. And I think if you're one of those dentists who wants to show a patient while you're working what's going on, they'll, they'll definitely be wowed. As you notice here, uh, rather than in previous softwares, if I wanted to, I could actually go in and edit models here. Uh, since this is not over my prep, I'm not going to concern myself about it. And now I could arrow ahead because I've accepted everything here. Notice down here, once again, we're in red. So that means this is a step I need to take uh, care of. I don't necessarily need to trim, but I'll go ahead and uh, draw my margin line. And as you notice, right now the margin line is in uh, green. I will now define my axis here. And once I give the OK, now the design process will uh, take over. And since I picked biogeneric, um, it will go ahead and read the posterior tooth and give me my uh, restoration. All right. Now I'll give a chance to uh, show you some of the new tools uh, in the area. Uh, over here, we have form. We can move the tooth. Uh, some of my favorite tools here now are the form uh, 3D. Whereas we can highlight an area, and let's say if I turn this on its side, and I didn't like the, the, the way the cusp was here, you can see that arrow pointing up. I can move that on up to, or depress it. We can go over here to the side and even move our contact over to make it stronger. Then we can rotate our model back down, take a look here. And now also, if we want to view our options, we can take a look from this standpoint, but also down here in our options, we can actually take a look at the upper and lower jaw by itself. We can check our contacts here. Let's say if I wanted to go in and modify my contact in this area, we're in our form tool, and now I just, um, excuse me, our auto form tool, I'll just go into here and um, use my smooth tool. Once again, changing the size of that tool, I could just go in and smooth this area out just like before. The tools I, I really like. Uh, uh, I think it's just going to make things move much, much quicker. You can close the tools here. Uh, we'll take a look. We're finished with this. Close this up. Bring back our model. And right now, this would be ready to mill. If I wanted to edit, once again, you can see here that our parameters can be changed in this instance before we even go uh, to our milling. And here we go. So that's a kind of a quick overview of the software. Like I said, it's, it's, it, it's much cleaner. Uh, it, it, it looks much more high tech. And I think you're really going to enjoy it once Rona releases it.